your stories. We want to give you some perspective. Joining us this morning is defense attorney Eric Subin, who can get exactly get into exactly what happens on a grand jury going forward. Also, we're joined by Nicole Polt Bell, the fiance of Sean Bell, who was unarmed when he was shot and killed by police on his wedding day in 2006. Thank you so much for being here, both of you. Thank you. Thanks for having, for having us. us. Um, so I'll start with you, Eric. Uh, take us into this process. I know it's, it's a secretive process. It isn't a, a typical jury here. It, it's, what, up to 23 people on, on a grand jury. Right. Uh, there's no defense. There's no juror. It's, what, the prosecutor and what? Well, the prosecutor is the one presenting the case to the jurors. And the jurors themselves can ask questions of witnesses that are put on, can ask questions of, questions of the prosecutor as he's presenting his case, whether it's documentary evidence or witnesses that he's eliciting uh, statements from. And uh, the prosecutor is sort of running the show in there. And it's yeah. a pretty low standard in order to get an indictment. And uh, typically when you think about a, a juror, you think someone in isolation, someone who's not watching the news, someone who's not being influenced by outside things. If you're on a grand jury, though, can you be influenced? I mean, do you think this, this grand jury might be influenced by all the outrage? Well, I mean, it's hard to divorce yourself from what's going on in the media, and they're not going to be sequestered if they're on the grand jury. Um, but, I mean, they themselves can engage in their own investigation. So, uh, you know, what that entails is sort of liberally construed. It's Okay. So, okay. All right. I, I want to talk to you, Nicole, for a second, because when, when you look at the Eric Garner case, uh, do, you, do you just go back? and think about your fiance? I mean, do you just immediately just go back and say, gosh, here it is again? Every time, every time there's another innocent man killed by police officers, it takes my family right back to 2006. Um, what we like to see is accountability for once. The ones that, the, when there is accountability held, we'll have change. There'll be justice for all of the families from past and present. Now, have you been active with the Garner family or the Brown family? Have you personally reached out to them? I've met the Garner family. I attended the service. Um, this is a long haul for them, and I don't think anyone has an idea of how long this will be. Several years it took for us just to really close that final uh, door, and the last door for us was the departmental hearings yeah. with the police officers, and that was just a few years ago. What did you tell them? Did you give them any advice at all or no? I let them know that put your faith in God because he's ultimately the only judge and jury at the end of the day. But this will be a long haul. Don't always believe, every, believe everything you read because it will definitely bring down your spirits. But surround yourself with positive people and people that can help you to get to what you need and justice for your loved one. I know a lot of people are wondering about the girls, how they're doing. They're blessed. They are blessed. I mean, they keep me grounded with the support from the community and support from my family. That's one of the reasons why I'm here today and able to speak out on my, for myself, for my family, and on behalf of my organization, When It's Real, It's Forever. When we're talking about grand juries, you obviously know this process very well. In, um, in Sean's case, there was a grand jury. The officers were indicted on manslaughter, reckless endangerment, assault charges, but they were all acquitted of those charges. On all the charges. Trial. Mm -hmm. um, now, the city did ultimately um, uh, did take some cult cultability civilly, with, with a settlement, a multi-million dollar settlement. So do you feel like now you can move beyond all of this or no? Or do you think it's still, it still eats at you? For one, uh, the settlement is to secure my daughter's future. So that has nothing to do with the present. Right. The settlement does, is not justice. Justice is accountability. Justice is just not ever happening to another innocent person, no matter what your color is. Justice would be for us to not have to sit here today and talk about Eric Garner and then Mike Brown. That's justice. You know, you, you say that, and, and I think about Mike Brown, I think about what's happening in Ferguson, I, I think about the rally plan for, for this weekend on Staten Island. Will you be attending that personally? This Saturday is yeah. also a, a peace weekend for my organization, so we do have our seventh annual Sean Bell Family Day. Yeah. I do attend to plan the rally and support the family. Uh, so uh, the, the, the question is, do you feel like all this rally really accomplishes what well, what we're saying out to accomplish. I mean, because at the end of the day, there was rallies after Sean was killed. You, you were in those oh, rallies. Yeah, you were absolutely. arrested in those rallies. Absolutely. And, and here we are in 2014. We're still having the same rallies for the same things, right? The purpose of the rally is to shine a light. It's to shine a light. It's so that this case doesn't get pushed under the rug. It's so that we do sit here and we all bring it to the table and we talk about what can happen. How can we move forward from this? No, it doesn't get justice. It didn't get us justice. We received social justice. We provided justice for ourselves. We got out there and we reached out to the people. And with the support of the community, my family was is at peace. 
with what we had. But when you see these cases and these families just being ripped apart, it, it, this has to stop. It has to end today. They need accountability. Someone has to come in. The federal government needs to come in and get involved because people have lost, we have lost faith on a state level. Nicole, thank you so much for coming in and sharing your story. I know a number of people agree with you about the federal government, so we'll be talking more about that in days ahead. Eric, thank thanks you. for shedding some light here on it, this secretive process. I mean, you hear grand jury all the time, but what really happens? So we appreciate you giving us uh, some insights there. Thanks for having thank me. Thank you both for coming in. Thanks for having me. For up-to-the-minute coverage on the Eric Garner case, head to pix11.com. We have information there. Also, for information on Nicole Bell's organization, she mentioned it, When It's Real, It's Forever, pix11.com.